everybody, welcome back to Wicked Good Sports. This is At The Buzzer, and we're joined, as always, by Jack Tiernan. Jack, it's the eve of the NBA playoffs, and I get asked, how you doing? It is, man. Uh, we're getting there. We're certainly uh, we're looking forward to it, I think, mm -hmm. just from an objective NBA fanboy standpoint. Right. Um, but, you know, for our Celtics, a little bit, a little bit uneasy. Yeah, no, I said uh, a few weeks ago, like, hey, it sucks that some team is going to be a high seed and get the Brooklyn Nets in the first round. And I was almost a self-fulfilling prophecy because the Celtics, the Celtics are the ones who are the high seed, the two seed, and they get the Brooklyn Nets. What are your thoughts on the play in game and then the future of this series? Yeah. Uh, all totally fair. Obviously would much rather have played like the Cavs or mm. even the Raptors, honestly, um, mm. just because, you know, we match up well against both of those teams uh, Cavs are down Jared Allen, at least for right now. Um, I don't know, man. I think I think watching the Nets in the first quarter yesterday when we were, uh, when they played the Cavs in that play-in game um, scared the crap out of me, I'm not going to lie, because they put up 40. Uh, Kyrie could not miss in the first half. Um, and I was like, oh, my God, we're doomed. Like, it doesn't, like they're going to win, we're going to play the Nets, and we're going to yeah. get absolutely crushed. Um, but then they really slowed down after that. So I was like, you know what? No, they still are a play-in team. They don't really play defense. Mm -hmm. um, Bruce Brown gave us some clipboard, bulletin board material. Um, and I don't know, man. I think I think we're still fine. I think it's it's they're still the seven seed for a reason. Um, I I'm feeling okay overall. A little uneasy compared to other teams, sure, but definitely overall pretty okay. Yeah, I mean, it's tough. And like you said, Kyrie literally like could not miss in the first half of the game. 12 for 12, um, I think. Yeah. yeah, so pretty insane. I mean, it's, it's going to be a tough matchup, but, you know, you, you want to win the championship, you're going to have to beat every other team that comes across you. So it's just it's just how it is. And, I mean, you know, there were rumors that uh, maybe we couldn't even match up very well with Toronto, given – given certain mandates, so I guess uh, <laughs> we kind of lucked out there. And it's, it's going to be interesting because um, obviously the Nets are a team that we have history with, specifically with Kyrie. And, I mean, the Garden's going to be letting him hear it. I am I am wow. sure of that. And uh, for his part, based on at least last season, he'll, he'll be giving it right back. I think so, too. Um, I, I Maybe he'll have cooled off a little bit because, you know, maybe KD silencing Bruce Brown's words the other day, which basically was saying that uh, Al Horford and, and Tice can't defend the paint without mm -hmm. Rob Williams. Um, and then Kevin Durant was like, no, none of that. So you have to wonder if he's kind of putting his foot down a little bit because mm -hmm. Kyrie basically put him through the ringer this season. Um, so I don't know. I think... I think you're right. I, with the Raptors is a good point too. Maybe we don't match up well against them. Uh, we probably won't have to worry about them at all now. Uh, they are playing the Sixers, and I don't see them getting past Harden and Embiid. Um, I don't know, man. No, I think I think my prediction honestly is Celtics in six. Um, mm. I think even at that point, we may see Rob Williams back for that sixth game. Mm. Um, I hope so. If not, he'll definitely be back for the second round, assuming we make it past, of course, the Nets. Um, but I don't know, man. I'm feeling pretty okay. Feeling pretty okay. So, yeah, Celtics in six. That's Jack's official prediction. I'm going to agree. I don't know. I, I I want to believe. I want this to happen. Uh, Jack, I mean, I don't think it's too far-fetched. Well, we'll see. No. Um, ben Simmons, that's going to be a bit of a wild card. Uh, we have I don't think no he's... idea. Well, you yeah. don't think you're not, not too worried? No, I'm not. Well, I'm not worried, and I don't think he's coming back. To be honest with you, I don't think okay. he's back this year at all. I think, mm. yeah, I don't think he's coming back. Yeah. At least not not to be a problem for us at the right. very least. Right, right. So we'll see. We'll, we'll keep an eye on that, obviously going forward. But uh, yeah. there were, there were other playing games last night, and there's other series to talk about. What caught your eye? Yeah, man. Um, I have to say the the Clippers. Um, not Grizzlies. I keep thinking gri Grizzlies. Yeah. yeah, Timberwolves. Thank you. Right. Um, that was an electric game. That mm -hmm. was fun to watch. Uh, I saw a lot of people picking LA on the internet, uh, yeah. and I, I, I'll be honest with you. I was like, why? Like, I, I'm picking Minnesota, and mm -hmm. I mean, I guess, I guess I was right. I should have bet like, some money on that. Who were like, why? He's playing still, right? It's like, uh, yeah. Nope. I was like, he's uh, not, uh, he's no, not you, there right now. 
Pandemic Paul George. Uh, but, but no, Paul George was good last night. I think mm. Ant Edwards was better. Cat was better. Cat was beating people up in the paint. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, I I wasn't surprised by that outcome. Um, but I hate Pat Bev, so I was really disappointed that he's like we have to see more of him. Um, he was getting beaten up yeah. online today for for celebrating too much. What were your thoughts on that? I he deserves it. He uh, that's I saw a lot of people actually yeah, to be honest going of off on him, uh, him and just like like Kyle Kuzma for example chimed mm-hmm. in. He was even like like okay I guess Minnesota just won the championship guys like congrats. So I saw it's, a yeah. good meme you know the the meme where the guy's on the metal stand and he's like flipping everyone <laughs> yeah. off with the champagne and then it like pans out and they're like the seventh. Yeah team right. That's, down. That was that. That was mm-hmm. that's so accurate for that because it was it was a little bit much. It was definitely much. Hey, let him have it, Jack. I don't know. Sure. I mean, I don't know how the West isn't as strong as the East, but I don't know how no. they're going to fare out there. Um, yeah, that that probably was the big the big one from last night where yeah. people were really getting on it. But I mean, other than that, like. What series are you looking forward to in either conference? Yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, and again, it's probably homerism here, but the Celtics-Nets is going to be wild. Yeah, um, that's the, that's the best think... first-round matchup for sure. Oh, hands down, 100%. Um, I, I personally am interested to see how Harden performs in his first playoff series with the Sixers. Mm-hmm. Um, he and Joel have been pretty good together, um, but I think the proof's in the pudding. Um, yeah. Toronto is a really hot team right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, even though I said I would have liked to play them, I think we match up well against them. But I mm-hmm. think that would be um, interesting. I'm excited for that Western Conference matchup, uh, the Golden State versus um, Nuggets, just because there are a lot of like what ifs as well. Obviously, can Nikola Jokic power this team? Essentially, mm-hmm. like will this team to the next round? Yep. Um, and uh, does Steph Curry play slash does Jamal, Jamal Murray play, right? Like, it, those are two question marks as of right now. Um, Jamal hasn't played all year, so who knows how much of a help he'd actually be, to be honest with you. True. Um, but I think that's that's so up in the air. Um, I think it'll be really fun to watch that. Just, like, that's two electric teams. Uh, Jokic himself is just, he is that team, basically. Like, he is the electricity. So that'll be yeah, fun to watch Historic for sure. season, uh probably back to back yeah. MVPs. Now he just needs Could the be. playoff success. That's that's the next step, right? I I'm rooting for him hard, man. They're my they're my favorite team in the West. I don't know if they end up doing it. Uh hmm. I, I think they're the 6 seed, so like again, like I said for the Nets, I want to be consistent. They're the 6 seed for a reason. Um <laughs> I don't know. I I think Golden State if Steph plays, I think probably pulls that one out. But I think that'll be an electric matchup. Yeah. No, no doubt there um i guess what else is there to to cover for this i mean it's just an exciting time uh it is for basketball i mean and especially exciting for us because we started this season you know we weren't sure what the Celtics were going to be and it's been a very fun like second half of the season and yes hopefully we get a deep playoff run that'd be nice it's been a minute since we've we've gotten there but i don't know what are your thoughts on that Man, we were we were pretty close the last uh, last year, not as much, but the couple of years yeah. prior, we we were we were solid teams, all things mm-hmm. considered, with either a hobbled Kemba or, or non-existent Kyrie. Um, yeah, giving up against the Bucks, tough, tough. Right, scene. literally, but, uh, yeah. that was not fun. No. Um, not our problem someone, anymore. Actually, I saw someone on Reddit said he put up stats like a like a tour date. Like four for twenty seven. Oh, no. <laughs> Eleven two six. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Oh no. I was like, damn, I've it was seen good. that before. That's good. That's awesome because it's yeah. accurate. And I hope he does that against us when he's got Marcus Smart and Derek White up in his face. Right. Um I think I mean another thing to watch, honestly, is that Memphis series with now the Timberwolves. I think that'll be fun as well because the mm-hmm. T Wolves obviously just got in. Uh, John Morant and Pat Bev do not like each other at all, okay. uh, and they're playing each other, which is awesome. That'd be good. So we'll be guarding so, each other most likely. Get some more beef. Beef's always good. Always, makes, always makes it so much more fun to watch. Um, For sure. 
I guess should we mention the Lakers? They're not in it this year. That's kind of weird to not have LeBron in the best playoffs. Best part is the best part. It's the best part of the playoffs uh, that LeBron's not there. Um, I saw a stat that the year before he went there, uh, they won thirty five games, and now they won thirty three games. So not oh. not great for LeBron uh, over in L A. Uh, no. this year. Um, he traded away all of his young guys. I don't know, man. For for Wash, Russell Westbrook, and and AD, basically. That's it. Yeah, I really just wanted to, to give us credit for calling this as a, a very bad way to assemble a team while it was yeah, happening. Yeah, we said this. Uh, yeah. yeah, we said this preseason. Mm-hmm. It, was, it was one of those things where, like, maybe it all works out, but this is uh, not, like... A lot of the players were not playing their best basketball, and no. it's, like they're no. just names at this point. Like Dwight Howard, yeah, I like Dwight. I really liked him back in the day when he was, you know, I was Superman. gonna say but like, Orlando Magic Dwight. Yeah, it's not the same guy anymore. No, this is like third stint Lakers Dwight. Like this is he's he's been on this team three separate times. Like that's <laughs> that's not good. Sorry, if that you're saying that about anybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's you know it's bad when. He's like some weird number instead of number 12. It's like, okay. 39. So it's, it's over. Yeah, you're like, oh, <laughs> yeah. got it. <laughs> this is who this is. Yeah, Kendrick Nunn is taking your number from you. You've got mm. other things to worry about. Yep, yep. I know. I just, uh, it, it's tough. It's tough out there. But, uh, yeah, I mean, any other thoughts on the on the playoffs before we get on out of here? Uh, no, I mean, I guess we'll have to see how it all unfolds, right? There's always going to be an upset. I just hope it's not Celtic stats. Not yeah, But, I mean, we can at least, like, say it was not really an upset because if Kyrie got to play all season, the Nets wouldn't have been it wouldn't so be far the down. Seed. So, right. uh, that'll be our out. <laughs> We're give, I'm giving us the out right. now, just in case we right. get embarrassed. But, uh, on the record. Yeah, on the record. But, uh, no, we're, we're both we're both picking the Celtics, and we're, we're hopeful. Yep. All right, Jack, where can they find you online? Best place to find me is on Twitter. I'll be tweeting through the NBA playoffs for sure, and that's at Jack underscore Tiernan. Uh, you could also follow me for a little bit more of a nuanced sport in disc golf, and that's at Jack Disc Golfs on Instagram. Yes, go follow him there. You can follow me on Twitter at the fake B Mar. This BMAR. We launched a website, uh, wikigoodeverythingsports.com, because wikigoodsports.com was taken and i didn't want to go through the hassle of trying to figure out how much it would cost to get that uh url so go check us out there we have a uh, blogging content on there just you know talking about pretty much whatever you want i'm mostly blogging about the dolphins since i'm not making uh you know miami minute stuff right now chris is of course blogging about hockey and then we have our new contributor Rhett. he is blogging all about baseball for us with uh, probably an emphasis on the red Sox. that's his team which hey, fits fits right in here. Sure does. Um, yeah, and you can follow the channel on Twitter at where you can support or WG Everything, Instagram, where you can everything, Twitch at twitch.tv slash where you can everything, and on TikTok, search where you can support, search where you can everything. Jack, thank you so much for your time. Of course, Brian, thank you for having me. We'll see you all in the next one.